Hey everyone, welcome back. In this ISTQB foundation exam questions and answers video, I'm going to cover another exam question, another five exam questions with detailed explanation. So this is exam set four and I'm on question number 11 or first question of this particular video, which says, let me change the color of this one. So this question says, which of the following is most likely to be a challenge encountered when implementing DevOps? Okay, so challenge encounter when implementing DevOps, we have to select one option. Now let's go through and read these options and see what could be one of the challenge most likely will be a challenge first option says making sure that fun non-functional quality characteristics are not overlooked that's not most likely challenge encountered in implementing devops that's not a challenge for devops managing continuously changing test environments that's also not a challenge encountered when implementing devops the need for more manual testers with suitable experience absolutely baseless statement for devops context so that is also out that means we are just left with one option setting up test automation as part of the delivery pipeline yes this is basically the correct statement and most likely could be a challenge encountered when implementing devops that you set up the test automation as part of the delivery pipeline could be the challenging or most likely will be a challenge okay so that's the correct option moving to the next question which of the following best describes retrospectives okay now in agile retrospective what exactly which of these one statement describes best about retros retrospectives so first one says retrospectives allow team members to identify other team members who did not fully contribute to achieving quality as required by whole team approach that's not the purpose of retrospectives it's not about finger pointing or identifying other team members who did not achieve or contribute to quality that's absolutely baseless statement so that is basically out okay retrospectives give testers an opportunity to identify activities that were successful so that these are retained when potential improvements are made in future this is what the description or, or what retrospective will do or what it's all about so we'll just mark it and we'll go through the others and see the others are baseless statement so we can eliminate and conclude that this is the answer okay third option says retrospective are where agile team members are allowed to voice their concerns about management and customers in a blame-free environment that's not what retro retrospective is all about it's not about raising the concerns about management and customers okay retrospective is absolutely has an absolute different purpose fourth option says retrospectives give agile team members a forum where they focus on discussing the plan and technical decisions for next iterations that's also not a forum retrospective is not a forum for discussing the plan and technical discussion for next iteration right if you, if you have to discuss the next iteration plan that's sprint planning and not retrospective so this is also incorrect so the correct option is b and we just have to select one option retrospectives give testers an opportunity to identify activities that were successful so they can basically retain those successful activities whenever new potential or potential improvements are made in future the successful or the successful activities are still retained and those practices are still followed in further iterations okay moving to the third question of this particular video which of the following tests is most likely to be performed as part of the functional testing okay so we they are asking about functional testing and most likely which will be performed as a functional testing test we just have to select one option so first option says the test checks that the sort function puts the element of the list or array in ascending order right so absolutely correct statement looks correct statement but let's see the others let's read others and eliminate others and see that this is the correct option the most correct option or most likely so b says the test checks whether the sort functions complete sorting within one second of starting within one second right so anywhere wherein you are testing the performance or the response time throughput that's non-functional right so this is non-functional statement so we can eliminate that third option says the test 
checks how easily the sort function can be changed from sorting ascending to sorting descending. How easily is usability? Okay, it's not basically a functional, it's a usability or, or how easy the application is. So that's user friendliness and that's also not functional testing as such. Okay, so we eliminated that. Fourth option says the test checks that the sort function still functions correctly when moved from a 32 bit to a 64 bit arc architecture now this is also you know, this is also not a functional testing this is basically you know, when the statement is more of test checking the sort function still functions correctly when the architectural or the the hardware is changed from 32 bit to 34 so this is more of a non-functional testing again this is more of a interoperability testing so this is also incorrect and we are just left with one option which is basically the test checks, checks that the sort function puts elements of the list or array in ascending order so this is a functional or most likely to be performed as a functional testing right so you are testing the sorting functionality now moving to the fourth question of this particular video which of the following is most likely to be a trigger that leads to maintenance testing of currency exchange system okay so most likely out of these four we just have to select one option and which one of these option will trigger most likely will trigger or lead to maintenance testing of the currency exchange system so if we talk about the first option the developers reported that changing the currency exchange system was difficult and testers decided to check if this was true right so changing the currency exchange system was difficult and the testers decided decided to check if this was true that's not is what is going to trigger maintenance testing as such okay so this is incorrect second option says the refund option of the currency exchange system was removed okay refund option was removed as it did not always repay the correct amount to customers now this is something if your system is already in production and you are removing adding something that triggers maintenance testing so this is most likely the correct answer but let's eliminate the others so the third option says the agile team has stated or uh, has started developing a user story that adds a new customer loyalty feature to the currency exchange system right so here if you see the agile team has started developing a user story that adds a new customer loyalty feature this is more of adding a new customer loyalty feature to currency exchange system that is not most likely a trigger that will lead to maintenance testing as of now this is incorrect as of now only b looks correct why because the refund option of the currency exchange was removed as it did, did not always repay the correct amount to the customer so refund option has been removed from the currency exchange system and and that is most likely going to trigger maintenance testing new feature this for third option is more about new customer feature being added fourth option is the language support option of the currency exchange system was used to enable both English and local language currency transaction now this is also not correct or will not trigger maintenance testing because this is basically saying it was used this is more of a configuration that's available to use to enable both English and local language currency transactions right so this feature was already there and it just it's a trigger or it's it's basically a toggle that was enabled for both languages so this is also not going to trigger to maintenance testing the only option now we are left is B refund option because it was not repaying the correct amount to the customer and it was removed so that will most likely trigger maintenance testing okay moving to the last question of this particular video it says which of the following cannot be examined by static testing okay cannot be examined by static testing and we just have to select one option so out of these four option contract can you not examine contract by static testing yes you can but you have to figure out what cannot be examined so this is not correct test plan obviously you do static testing for test plans right you review those encrypted code looks correct but let's see the fourth option test charter yes you can examine it by static testing so this is also incorrect so that means c is the correct option encrypted code because of the encryption in the code it's not easy to examine the encryptor or any sort of encryption using static testing te techniques so c is the correct option for this particular question okay so that's five question another five question exam question for istqb foundation exam in the next video i'll cover another five exam question with detailed answers thank you see you in the next one